What's up everybody? This is Bo. This episode I'm going to talk about uh, trouble on the road, a van trouble. Uh, this happens last week when we were on a road trip and how to ident identify it and just in case it happens to you and you don't have you know the equipment that is uh, needed to identify the code. So the symptom was right after we, uh, we came out from a gas station, one of the vans tried to accelerate. It did not go, it did not kick into gear. So the turbo did not kick in at all. Push on the gas, it's just not going. The engine is still on, it's running, it's fine. So that was, uh, uh, and then we uh, we heard on the the walkie-talkie said, uh, okay, one of the van is is having trouble. So we made a U-turn. We went to meet up. So we came around. We checked. The engine light was on, but it's not just going forward. You know what it comes to mind? Mercedes big problem and then I thought wait a minute let's see what happened here it can't be right new vans and stuff it's not even 50,000 miles so I had this on board okay um, I car soft I always carry this thing it's a it's a uh, diagnostic thingy for you know when you have a trouble code it's a code reader you can clear the code you can diagnose and it tells you uh, what what code it is and then you look it up okay, this is how it looks like right. MB2 okay that was really helpful you guys with this um, so we diagnosed it, the code came out, P100D00, okay, P100D00, so it turned out to be uh, something to do with the, the, uh, uh, what's the air, the, the, uh, oh, I can't remember what, exactly what it, it's the, the sensor for the turbo that the it, it was blocked okay I'm gonna show you where, where exactly it is and the real footage of um, that time when we took everything off will be at the end of this video but I just want to show you um, how to take it off and what kind of tools you need it's good to have, you know, it's it's not a lot, but it's good just to have the mini tool like that to um, the tool you need to take this piece off. Okay, this is where your air filter is, and this is where that sensor is right here. Okay, it's very easy to take off. I'm gonna I'll show you in a minute. So tools you need a set of some like this. Okay, Allen wrench. Okay. These stars are um, screws right here. These are T2025. Okay, that one. T25. You need that to take that off. And then you'll need a flathead screwdriver to take this ring off right here. And then when you have it off, if you don't have one of these, okay. This would be helpful. We did not have it on board, but it works by blowing uh, with your mouth and just, you know, uh, try to clean it inside. But if you have one of these, would be a lot of help, a duster. Okay, and that's all you need. Let me show you how you take this off. So this whole unit here, it's not screwed to anything. It just it like it looks like a spider. It clamps to the, the back 
and then snaps into these two holes right here. These you can just pop it up, okay? And then you can just disconnect the air, the intake right here, the air intake. You can just push it, it'll pop up, okay? And then take that out. Okay. And this is the older model, so the the um, uh, oil uh, filter cap is is attached to here, and it's easy to take it off. It's a tap right here underneath. Push it in. Push it in and just take this out. Okay, slide out like that. Same thing is right here. This is your battery positive battery terminal. Tap right here underneath. Push it in and just pop it out like that. Okay, and then your sensor, uh, your cable right here, little tap right here. Push, press it, and then remove it. Same thing right here. Okay, press it, and come right off. Okay, and then now we need to take this part off, and then. There, now you can see I took this off. You can also pop this out. Okay, leave it here. Okay, now all we have to do is take these two screws off. Okay, let's see, it looks, it looks smaller. Let's see what size it is. T20. Okay, so you need T25 and T20. First, I'm going to take these off first to clean out the uh, the uh, uh, um, filter inside. The filter in here. Alright guys, I took it off. It, it, it was not that dirty, but just a lot of uh, sands and stuff, but uh, it's good to, uh, to uh, clean it out. And uh, this is the part where you want to uh, blow it to, okay, uh, the sensor right here, because you don't want any uh, thing to uh, block that airway, I think because of that. That's why that, that car was uh, was stalled. We didn't think any, you know, we, something like that. We we didn't think uh, that would cause the car to uh, uh, stop running. So it kind of freaked out a little bit, but it was uh, simple. So yeah, that's all I just want to talk about. Just in case you're out there driving and then all of a sudden you have that symptom, right? Step you try to accelerate it doesn't go it doesn't kick into the next gear at all and your engine light comes on but you don't have the, the code reader go ahead and try to clean take this part clean that out first let's uh, you know to, that's to start with all right that's it I'm gonna put this back and uh, go ahead and uh, watch the the following video that I, I took when we were fixing that on the road and we took a a road test it worked right away so it was a simple fix thankfully we were way away from home all right guys thanks for watching I hope this provides some kind of a clue tips and give you some idea if you run into that kind of trouble Mercedes printer all right, thank you. Bye. Um, guys, we pull over the side of the road because one of the uh, vans uh, has a problem. Uh, it got the check engine on. When you step on it, the turbo doesn't kick in. Uh, we have the code reader. The engine co uh, uh, engine light came on. And if you happen to have the same problem like this, okay, and you don't have 
uh, the, the cold reader. So the same symptom occurs, you can do, you can try to uh, fix this. Uh, since we have the code reader, it says P100D00. It has to be the, the total air intake, like uh, something is blocking um, the sensor in here. So what we do, uh, we try, we take off everything here, try to we clean up the filter, and if you have the uh, air blower, you, you know, blow into here, try to clean it up and put it back in here. Hopefully, hopefully that will fix the problem, and uh, we'll let you know. To take this off or put it back, it's very easy. You see this uh, clip right here? Onto here, okay? If I can see it. And on here. There, and then your, your air intake right here. Pop it back in. Okay, and right here, it's just a snap in like that, and put this back in, we'll screw it out, and my sensor, my clutch hit back in, and then we're gonna tight back in. Oh, I still have one more screw here to uh, screw it down. Okay. And this is your your battery. Uh, 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 what I call the uh, post. And to take that off, there's a, a little tab right here. You push it in, and then you just lift it up to put it back in. Snap in. That's it. All right. Test it out. All right, you guys, it is working. So, my goodness, if you don't have the code reader and you're on the road like this, you turn, you turn right here. Um, you don't know what happened. So, it's just a little minor thing and, and the car just not accelerating. So, this is good to know, this is good to know. Okay, I uh, hope this will, this is a uh, helpful information or any of you have the on the road sprinter van engine light uh, comes on and then it's not kicking the, the turbo is not uh, uh, kicking in, into uh, gear whatever I, I don't know that technical term is but when you step on it it just doesn't go forward try that first all right thanks you guys